everybody how's it going today um welcome back to Heidi Sumble home and as I usually say also if you're new here thanks for stopping by and giving me a try um so today for dinner uh, my side dish is going to be zucchini patties I thought I'd take you along maybe you've never made them before uh it's a quick recipe they're not hard I will list everything down below in the description and then after that we're going to make a um quick healthy snack with a couple ingredients I have made them before I have a few new subscribers not a lot yet I'm trying um, so you may have seen it it was actually months ago um, it's the no bake energy balls um, but you know I'm, I'm due to make them we could use a new healthy snack around here so I'll take you along to make that also and like I said everything will be listed let me move you over here so in the bowl I have two shredded zucchini okay it's just me and Frank so that should be plenty um, we have Parmesan cheese, we have a little bit of flour, an egg, and I used Italian seasoning, salt and pepper. You can add dill, some recipes call for mayonnaise. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna mix this up and get the oil started heating up in my pan over here. What I will do after I make them is I put them usually in a pie plate and I have no wax paper, so in between layers, I'll just put parchment paper, just enough to drain it. All right, so we'll just kind of mix these up. You know, it's kind of a side dish that you never think of, and it's really not that hard. Let me get some olive oil going in here. There we go. And um, they don't take too long, so we're just going to mix this up. And, uh, you know, maybe you've made these before. Um, I've made zucchini patties. I'm trying to think there was another kind of patty I made. There's a lot of different recipes you can make. Um, but these, you know, like I said, they're fairly easy. It makes a nice side dish. So I just want to mix everything till it's nice and incorporated. There we go. Um, haven't had these for a while. Thought they'd go nice with some chicken thighs. It's healthy. I'm going to get a big tablespoon out. And once the oil is hot, you're just going to drop them in by tablespoon. Okay. Get a spoon. And I'm just going to start dropping them. And actually, this is going to be like a small batter, I think. It's not going to be too big. I keep the skin on when I shred them. You don't have to. Okay. Once you drop them in, you can flatten them out, okay? I think they're delicious. Sometimes people um, dip them in sour cream, or you know, top them with sour cream after, you can do that too. I'm just gonna flatten them like that. There we go, and you just kinda let them go till they brown, and like I said, you put them in the pie plate, and you just keep making them until they're all done. So I will come back and show you once I have a few of them all done. I wish I had smell -a vision for you guys. So, this is gonna make a small batch. Like I said, I've already started to take a couple out. You can make them as brown as you want. Um, I also added in the batter, guys, um, some minced onion and some minced garlic. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and always use a good olive oil, okay? This one here I got at Trader Joe's. Um, it's, let's see if we can see it down here. It's 100% Greek Kalamata extra virgin olive oil. So they really don't take that long. You guys get the idea, right? A couple more to brown here, and we're done. All right, everybody, and we're done. That's how quick it was. Uh, you can brown them as much as you want. Uh, so I've got some here, and I've got some underneath. So for the two of us, two zucchini was plenty. Uh, we'll probably end up eating all of those. Um, obviously, if you... Um, you know, want more, then uh, get some more zucchini, and uh, they're looking good. You can also make cauliflower patties. You can make these spicy. You can make sweet potato patties. And also, I remember as a kid, if we had leftover mashed potatoes, we added an egg, a little bit of flour, some spices. Um, I think that might have been it, but use up your mashed potatoes. You can do the same thing and make mashed potato patties. Um, so next, uh, come along with me and we will make the no-bake energy balls. 
All right, everybody, these are the ingredients that you will need for the no bake energy balls. Like I said, I made them a good few months ago. I think it was after Christmas time, but in case you never saw them, this is a really healthy snack. And um, so here we go with the ingredients. Uh, everything will be listed down below in the description. Uh, but here we go, here's what I use anyway. Uh, some protein powder, vanilla. Um, I, got, I just gotta get rid of that, it's so huge, I forget I have it, but I put a little bit of that in there. Some oats, a little bit of flaxseed, peanut butter, um, some vanilla extract, some honey, some chocolate chips. You can also add um, coconut. You can add a different kind of nut or seed butter, um, whatever you want. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna bring you over here. And we're just gonna mix this up. There we go. And like I said, it'll be listed. So I've made these before. Um, so some of you may have seen them, but if you haven't, they're a really good, healthy kind of a snack. Um, what I do is I form them with a tablespoon, okay? And I put, you can either chill the dough before, but what I do is I just mix them up, drop them by tablespoon, in this plastic container and cover them. And then I keep them in the fridge. Um, I guess you could keep them out. I've always kind of kept them in the fridge. Uh, and you know, if you want it room temp, you know, then keep them out. But I think they might get a tinge soggy. Um, or if you want to eat them and they are in the fridge, then put them out, you know, a little bit on the counter before you eat them. Also, um, I mentioned this in one of my other videos a little hint with your, uh, like a measuring cup when you go to do honey, spray a little bit of um, canola oil in the measuring cup and honey slides right out, the peanut butter slides right out. Um, it's really kind of a nifty trick. We are gonna use a um, tablespoon and I'll just put them in here. And just pretty much like that. Like I said, I believe I didn't have a video on these and something else. Um, after Christmas time, I think I did a couple healthy ideas for snacks. And uh, But I thought I'd take you along anyway in case you didn't see that video and you're looking for some kind of a healthy snack. And these are actually kind of filling and they're really good. Um, like I said, you can add to what you want. Maybe you like coconut, maybe you want craisins, you know, white chips, I mean, that would take it up to a different notch, but uh, you wanna try to keep them healthy. And this is what they look like. And you just put them in the fridge. You can keep them out, but like I said, I think they'll get a little soggy. And um, give it a try, it's a nice healthy snack. All right, everybody, thanks for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed watching me make some um, zucchini patties and the no big energy balls, um, a nice little side dish that didn't take long and uh, the healthy uh, snack. And uh, so I think I'm gonna enjoy a cup of coffee and maybe one of those no-bake energy balls. And um, until next time, see you later.